guys kitty cat Lepur here and today i'm going to be showing you exactly how to get to the underground world here on the center yay so the center has a lot of secrets and things to uncover and one of them is having an underground world with its own sun so i'm going to show you exactly how to get there today but first off i want to say a great big thank you to all my current subscribers you guys are amazing and i seriously couldn't do it without you and if you're new here feel free to hit that subscribe button for pro itch art content and if you do like what i provide for you today feel free to hit that like button and guys i'm aiming for the big 20,000 this year so help me go big or go home and you all get a cookie yay so like i said the center does have a lot of cool secrets to uncover and the underground is definitely one of them there are six entrances and i'm showing an old map here but unfortunately i can only find four so if you guys can find the other two because it's driving me nuts I'll give you a cookie. Yay. <laughs> now we're going to be taking one way down that I use all the time, especially because it brings you to this jumping puzzle cave, which I'll kind of show, but not entirely because it's on the way, but not where you can get the artifact of the path. The four locations I found, I'm going to put the cords up on the screen. So there's one in the water. There's two right over here. And I found another one over here. This is where the underground is located underneath. But there are two more. One, one is kind of over here. And I think there's one entrance over here. And for the life of me, I just can't see them. So I'm going to take you guys the way that I take to get to the underground area. And there's two entrances, as you can see. An overview above it shows you that Blue Ob is right in front of us or behind us, depending on which way in you take. We have Red Ob over in the distance the center and green knob right over there. It's of course within some runes and some stranger dangers, so be careful. And my cords in here is 54.4, 48.8, or if you're coming in from the other side, 53.4, 49.8. Once you come in, you're gonna see this hole in the wall. And that's where we're gonna start. The exact entrance is 54, 49.4. And for the sake of this video, I am going to take Arlo because that's the only rider team that I have. And uh, I am on Leave Me Alone, so the creatures don't bother us and we can just jump into it. I did spam these, what are these called? These signs all over the place. I am on single player, so don't mind me. And we're just going to continue down on our way. So you're going to come down into this area. And the underground is definitely filled with a whole bunch of stuff that can give you resources, you can fight creatures, you can find the artifact of the pack in here. And not only that, it is livable down here. I'm pretty sure you you can have cave building off and because it's considered part of the map, you can build in it, but correct me if I'm wrong. It is pretty simple in the beginning to get down here, but it might get a little bit harder once there's some veer offs into the to different parts of it and i would highly recommend bringing a torch because there are a couple dark heart but i have arlo to keep light for us as you can see we're going to hit this um cauldron this is going to be first our first landmark and we're going to go down the stairs i'm going to try not to rush but for the sake of this video i might run a little bit just so it's not so long as you can see we have another one here And then we're at the bottom. We're going to find some creatures like spiders. And I think I saw Arthur Lolola's. And um, what else is there? Snakes. Maybe some bats. Now there's a place you can go up. And there's a place you can go down. And mapping myself out, I came from underneath. So just saying, that's where we're going to go. So we're going to keep following this way until we hit down underneath here. See, we're gonna hit some pretty blue crystals and all that kind of fun stuff that's just a like a dark hole in the wall so we're gonna continue down this way it's pretty straightforward and then we're gonna hit this nice little crystal den as you can see you can find a bunch of crystal down here There's some arthur lolola just continue on down this way 
Now I do use this path to get to the jumping puzzle cave. If any of you guys are interested, we will veer off the original path of it, but this is pretty much the same thing. You're gonna come down here and then you're gonna hit some water, which you're gonna have to go over. I'm pretty sure you can fly in here. Now this is the way over to Jumping Puzzle Cave, but we're going that way. I'm pretty sure there's a way over there as well, but I usually take the way that I just showed you. As you can see, we have a nice easy way up. And we're just gonna continue this way. Continuing forth, you can definitely find some great resources water and so much so as you guys can see we're gonna head up see there's some waterfall places you can go and explore but we're just gonna continue this way and this is where it's gonna get really dark that's okay because if you have a torch or your pyromane just take it slow I've marked my way again <laughs> I'm on single player. Don't judge me. I would never do this on a server. And here we are. My exact chords for the entrance of this location is 48.5, 49.2. But I've had a look around and it seems there are a couple other entrances and a couple other places to explore that may be a dead end. So keep that in mind. I just pick the one that I'm used to and know the best. But as you can see, here's our beautiful sun underneath. I'm just going to jump off of Arlo. I've seen some creatures. I'm on single player, so I don't have a lot. I don't know if it's the same on servers, but I've seen some beavers. I heard something poop, but I don't know what it was. So it's kind of quiet down here, but that doesn't mean that you're there isn't going to be creatures here. You have a vast amount of resources within here and out, like outside of it going down. You even have the water. I'm going to assume if I saw a beaver that there's going to be some beaver dams down here as well as plenty other resources and a beautiful place to build and it's always light i don't know let's see if it gets nighttime at here down here i made it nine o'clock and the sun is still shining so you could have sun all day every day and live in this cool cave with so much to explore and perhaps some dinos Again, I'm on single player, so I don't know exactly what can spawn down here because it hasn't yet. But just be careful. Bring something that can fight just in case. So guys, I just wanted to show you quickly how to get down to the underground if you were curious. And I'm sure there are many other ways to get down here. But if you know of other ways or those other two places that I can't find yet, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. If you did like what I provided for you today, feel free to hit that like button. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? I hope you all have a super a duper magical day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.